Welcome to this video. This is going to be a video about how to uh, do a revolved boss face and a revolved cut, which are both very similar. At this point, um, uh, you probably have heard of an extrusion. Uh, if not, I recommend you go to my extrusion video here. And uh, this is a basic extrusion. Let's say I want to extrude this uh, to be two inches out. I think uh, most of us are familiar with how to extrude and how to do an extruded cut. And I'll just extrude cut this as an example. And we can make parts like this. But Revolve Boss Base, although similar, has a, a very slightly different principle. So let's get on to it. The first thing is I'll make a basic sketch on the front plane and I'll draw a circle. I'll draw a circle off to the side here and I'll constrain it. to be, let's say, even with our plane and two inches away. And I'll make this have a circumference of two inches as well. So uh, from here, let's say I want to make a donut shape. And uh, <laughs> with this circle, I can revolve it around the origin and add material as it goes. So let me give you an example. I'll use a center line. I want to take this circle and I want to twist it around the center line and add material as it goes. Uh, to do that, I'll go Revolve Boss Base. And it, it already recognizes the center line as an axis of revolution. In other words, uh, SolidWorks automatically said that this line will be the line that this shape will go all the way around and add material as it goes to make a donut shape. Are you getting hungry yet? If SolidWorks does not have this axis, then all I have to do is click inside of this box and say I want this to be the axis of revolution and it will make it the axis of revolution. Notice I don't have to have this line be my axis of revolution. If I uh, go back to the sketch, I can say that I want any arbitrary line at least almost any arbitrary line to be an axis of revolution. I should constrain that if I was uh, serious about my sketch. So I can say I want this to be the axis of revolution and it will choose this. And I can switch between different axes of revolution. I don't know how to say the axi of revolution maybe. I can also use a thin feature and this will make a hollow donut and I can change the thickness and I can change the uh, orientation of our thin feature. So they have a lot of options. I can even choose a second direction. Uh, this isn't really that applicable. I've never had a drawing where I've had to do a second direction before but it is an option to you. That being said, I'll bring that into actuality. And there you have a revolved boss base. Now, what if I wanted to cut um, a divot or a, or a pattern inside into the side of the donut? I could have sketched it with a pattern into the side of the donut and then revolved in that pattern would have been there. But let's say I've already made it or it's a surface where I couldn't have revolved it and I have to add it manually. If that be the case, I'll choose a plane to sketch on. Bring myself normal to it. Let's say I want all the way around the donut to have this um, cut in the side of it. I'll just constrain it. Now that I have a fully defined sketch, I will draw an axis of rotation right here. Notice I put it off center. I did that so that you can uh, see uh, what happens if you have an off center axis, which you could probably probably predict. But I'll rotate this circle around this axis and have it cut any material that it intersects with the way. And that is done with revolve cut instead of revolve lost base. Notice it gives me a nice preview here. 
and you'll see with an uneven axis, it will cut deeper in some portions and more shallow in other portions. If you can't see that, I'll edit the sketch and I'll move this axis further away. If I rebuild it, <laughs> you'll see really dramatically there, it uh, goes completely out of the donut and back in. So you can make a, a concentric cut. You can make one like this that gradually tapers off. Well, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me back, and I'll catch you next time.